एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑन सेवनटीन जनवरी वी विल बी लॉन्चिंग आवर एंड टू एंड फंड अकाउंटिंग कोर्स मास्टरिंग फंड अकाउंटिंग आई विल गिव द लिंक ऑफ द वेबसाइट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द कोर्स विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन द वेबसाइट इन दिस सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज आई एम गिविंग द ओवरव्यू ऑफ ईच सेक्शन विच इज पार्ट ऑफ माई फंड अकाउंटिंग कोर्स टूडे सेक्शन इज परफॉर्मेंस फी द परफॉर्मेंस फी इज नॉट एन ईजी कंसेप्ट it takes a lot of time while onboarding a new fund to actually decode the performance fee criteria from the fund's prospectus so i spent a good time designing this section using as many example and diagram as possible to make it easy interesting and understandable for you in this section i have started first with the overview of performance fee what is gaf nav and crystallization period then I explained the hurdle rate and high water mark. These are the two benchmarks of the performance fee. Once these concepts are clear to you, you will be able to understand performance fee calculation better. Next, I created a lecture on equalization. As the performance fee is different from any other fee charge in the fund industry, we need to understand why it is introduced. Why there are so many benchmarks kept? In the equalization lecture I have explained the concept of free ride and clawback which will reveal the reason for equalization as we understand the reason then we need to see the steps that have been taken over the years in the fund accounting industry to mitigate the issue so we discussed equalization methods like simple equalization series of share and depreciation deposit out of these three methods i have seen series of shares being used more in the industry hence i have designed one lecture specifically to explain the method with some mock examples that's all for this section today keep watching to know more about other sections thank you